Superb. I mean, I'm just je jealous that I can't come here as a student. <laughs> it's really wonderful. There's, you know, the depth and breadth, variety of things that you can learn here. It's really something. Like I was surprised at how easygoing he was, and, and he interacted with the people, and he liked to, He just liked to look at all the furniture. He was, it was really exciting. The former president was welcomed onto the stage by an audience standing in ovation. Grinning that familiar southern smile, the 66-year-old current professor started off with stories and jokes about his involuntary retirement. Because of Ronald Reagan and the 1980 uh, campaign. But then he got serious about starving children in Africa, reforestation, and the issue probably nearest and dearest to him, peace. His views on the Gulf War were unmistakable. I personally and you may not like this, I personally did not support military action in the Gulf War. The audience obviously did like that, and they liked the fact Carter's administration helped develop weapons like the Patriot missile and stealth bomber, which helped win the war. The ones that came after my administration were the B-1 bomber, the B-2 bomber, and uh, Star Wars, which I don't think uh, will ever be helpful to this country. Ten years after leaving the White House, and Carter is still dogged by the hostage issue. At a news conference before the speech, he was asked about recent reports Ronald Reagan's staff made a deal with Iran not to release hostages until after Reagan officially became president, a concept Carter thinks is nauseating. And I, I do think, though, that the allegations or rumors uh, have raised a question in people's mind that ought to be laid to rest. All week at RIT, students have protested against their president, Richard Rose, for sabbatical in Washington, allegedly connected to the CIA. Carter's visit fueled those protests, and he was asked questions after his speech. If the general public would listen objectively to evidence against the CIA, their attitudes toward it might change. I think it's perfectly legitimate for the public to examine very thoroughly the uh, policies of the CIA. Overall, Carter's message was of peace and helping the United States become a nation of sharing, giving ourselves to each other. Rebecca LeClaire, News Team 10. Mr. President, I'd like you to meet Bill Cochran over here. He's a first year student. Hi, Mr. President. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Uh, Connecticut. Uh, I was quite surprised that uh, it was quite severe as it was. Uh, the first thing that came to my mind was maybe a, a mini tornado. RGE &E worker Charlie Smith repairing damaged utility poles in Spencerport. He says from the looks of this, he wouldn't rule out the culprit as a twister. More than a dozen utility trucks lined Washington Street to work on the damage. Four poles were ripped from the ground and torn apart. About a hundred homes left in the dark. Neighbors watched in amazement as the poles fell to the ground. As it fell, it knocked down a couple different trees. Uh, tore the poles right out of the ground. One snapped in the middle, the other one was snapped off the ground level. On Ward Hill, only the insides of Dick Wegman's shed remain. The roof and body ripped off. News Team 10 meteorologist Mark Finan was at the scene.